The Dell XPS 9300 versus the MacBook Pro 13 inch. Mac versus PC. An age old argument. Some say that you can find cave drawings of, of, of Homo erectus putting an apple versus a PC on their caves before man was civilized, war and fighting and PCs. One of the most obvious choices to compare the Dell XPS 9300, of course, is with the MacBook Pro 13-inch laptop. So today we're going to find out which of these two computers is better and which one you may want to buy. Now, one of the most obvious comparisons between the Dell and the MacBook are, of course, the external enclosures. Both are made from high-end metals. The MacBook Pro has this beautiful sort of aluminum finish on the entire body, and, and you can choose between silver and space gray. And the Dell XPS, of course, has the same aluminum finish, except on the inside where it has the carbon fiber, but the rest of it is this metal, and it even has the, this sort of like brushed uh, aluminum here on the side, or polished rather, it's polished aluminum on the side. And that is absolutely beautiful. The, uh, the Mac does not have that, it's just this standard space gray all the way around. Uh, otherwise, though, both are, are very premium feeling computers. They're, they both feel good in the hand. All around, they're just built very well, and they are built to last. The MacBook Pro 13 inch is, in fact, a little bit bigger. Uh, not only is it a little bit, just a hair, a little bit thicker, it's also a little bit taller, a little bit wider, a little bit deeper. Everything about it is just slightly a hair bigger. Um, it's also, it also weighs a touch more. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You're not going to notice that difference when, when actually practically using either of these computers. But in fact, I would argue that the slightly bigger size of the MacBook Pro works in its favor, and I'll get to that here in just a few minutes. That pretty much ends the external comparison of these MacBook Pros. So off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and, and spin them back around. It's like magic. Both keyboards and trackpads are absolutely phenomenal to use, but the MacBook Pro's keyboard is in fact a little bit better. Now, Apple's keyboards have been very polarizing in the past. They've uh, had these butterfly keyboards and stuff for the previous generation MacBook Pros where a lot of people hated them and they, they failed, and if a little bit of dust got in there, all of a sudden the computer would explode. But they have now since uh, fixed those issues, and the new keyboard on the MacBook Pro is phenomenal. Every single key feels fantastic. It's great to type on. You're not going to have a lot of typos. You have full-size keys. It's just great. Everything just sort of feels right and in place in the way it should. The, the Dell XPS is a little bit of the same. It's got a phenomenal keyboard, full-size keys. But if we're just going to go ahead and, and compare Apple to oranges, I would say that the, the MacBook Pro keyboard has a slight edge. I can't necessarily explain to you why on camera. You'll have to try it out for yourself. But uh, even though I'm sure this is an opinion-based thing, the keyboard on the MacBook Pro is better. Other comparisons between the keyboard, of course, is that the uh, MacBook Pro has the touch bar at the top. Now, I do feel that the touch bar is still a little gimmicky. Frankly, I probably would be fine if I just had conventional F1 uh, function keys. But the Dell XPS does have conventional function keys. It does not. There's really no uh, PC alternative to the touch bar. Uh, both keyboards have backlights. Great keyboards, nothing to complain about. And of course, then there's the trackpad. Both trackpads are phenomenal. Uh, of course, the MacBook Pro's trackpad is considerably bigger. It's also considerably more functional. The uh, XPS's trackpad is great and it feels good to click down on and it's just all around a, a nice touchpad. There is no denying that the MacBook Pro's touchpad is the best that you can possibly buy. It has multi-finger gesture support and they're all incredibly accurate and responsive. It's huge. It uh, ignores palm and, and accidental input very, very well, much better than the Dell XPS. And distinguishes left and right no problem because you'll do a one and a two verse finger click. And unlike the, uh, oh, here it comes turning on again. It just does it on its own. Uh, MacBook Pro, of course, there is no physical button on the trackpad. It's just a piece of solid glass, and it uses a little spring on the inside to mimic you pushing it down. Whereas, of course, the Dell XPS does have a conventional spring-loaded trackpad. What does that mean for anybody using it? Well, pretty much nothing. I think in terms of reliability, trackpads have come a very long way, and uh, you're not going to have an issue with reliability on either. But nevertheless, it's something to note that the trackpad on the MacBook Pro doesn't actually push down. Next up, of course, are the screens. Now, the 13-inch MacBook Pro only comes with one flavor of screen, and it is a 2560 by 1600. See, I, I remember that. 2560 by 1600 uh, resolution screen. It is crisp, vivid, clear, beautiful. Uh, neither of these panels are OLEDs. 
It is 13.3 inch instead of the Dell XPS's 13.4 inch. So if you absolutely must have 0.1 inches more of screen space, then you're going to need to go with the Dell XPS. Um, but both screens are phenomenal. They are uh, as, as good as you can possibly get in a notebook. They're non OLED, so the blacks are going to be like, I mean, they're, they're, they're very dark and uh, not a whole lot of backlight bleed on either, but it's not going to be like true black. Colors are incredibly vivid. And in terms of warmth on each screen, uh, the MacBook Pro comes built in with its True Tone technology, where it will try to sort of measure uh, or the ambient light and kind of adjust warm and uh, cool temperatures based on based off of that. Dell XPS, I think, just sort of airs to a slightly more warmer side out of the box. Of course, it can be calibrated, but nevertheless, uh, both screens are fantastic. The Dell XPS can be optioned with a touch screen, and of course, a much higher resolution when this one has a full high def. Um, but the MacBook Pro cannot be optioned with a touch screen. It just doesn't have it. So let's talk features really quick about the Dell and the MacBook Pro. Uh, first off, both come with phenomenal webcams. Here is comparison footage of them now. These are the webcams side by side on the Dell XPS 13 and the MacBook Pro 13. Both computers also come with the new Wi-Fi 6 standard. They both have Bluetooth 5 low power. Both have fingerprint scanners built in. The Dell has facial recognition, whereas the MacBook Pro does not have that. And I'm a little disappointed that Apple doesn't have the uh, Face ID built into their Mac laptops yet. It is sort of a glaring omission considering their phones and iPads have had it for such a long time. But nevertheless, if you need facial recognition technology, the Dell XPS is the only one that has it. Both are feature-rich machines, very fast, very awesome, backlit keyboards uh, as well. Um, that probably wraps up our features on these computers. In terms of usability on both of these machines, they are both screen screaming fast laptops. Uh, both of these are optioned with the i7 10th gen. They have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And the Dell XPS has a one terabyte NVMe uh, solid state drive that we upgraded on it. And what's nice about the Dell is that you can upgrade the NVMe drive. You cannot upgrade the NVMe drive on the MacBook Pro. So in terms of expandability and upgradability, the Dell does have an edge on the MacBook Pro. But practical usage on both of these machines is fantastic. I don't think anybody's going to be aching for more speed, but I am gonna give a slight edge to the Dell XPS on the, the sort of snappiness of things. Mac OS is arguably a much better operating system than Windows, and I'm sure I'm gonna get a ton of shit for that. Uh, but I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. If you want sort of stable, less hassling environment, you go Mac. And Windows does have its benefits, don't get me wrong. That said, Windows does arguably feel a little bit snappier than Mac does, even on in, in the best of their machines. And there's no exception to that rule with the Dell XPS either. Uh, there's something about the Dell XPS that just sort of feels a little more nimble, a little snappier uh, than the MacBook Pro. I'm not gonna actually show the benchmark numbers between these two computers. Suffice to say uh, that they're both very, very fast, but practically speaking, the uh, Dell XPS just feels a little bit quicker. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but believe it or not, the XPS even boots into the operating system faster. It used to be that the Mac was the was the ultimate king of quick boot up times, but it isn't anymore. And I kind of noticed, I noticed that changing around the time that Apple started introducing all their like security enclaves and T1s and T2 security chips and blah, blah, blah. Boot times just kind of got a little bit slower. Basically when you, when Dell says this thing is like instant on, it is basically instant on. From a cold boot, you can get into Windows in like less than 10 seconds. Uh, and it does take a little bit longer with the MacBook Pro. That said, who shuts down their computer anymore these days? Nobody. You just put it to sleep and both of them will wake up almost instantly. Both can be specced out with i5s, i7s, 8 gigs, 16 gigs. That's all pretty standard. Both come with the Iris Plus graphics. In terms of speaker quality, the MacBook Pro absolutely dominates the Dell XPS in terms of its speaker quality. There is just no comparison. Um, and I'm not gonna obviously play an audio clip of both machines. It's, you're, it's not gonna make a difference because you're gonna be hearing it through your speakers. Uh, just take my word for it that the speakers on the MacBook Pro are way better than they are on the XPS uh, 9300. Uh, and that's where I think the slightly bigger form factor of the MacBook Pro kind of comes in handy. Because of its slightly larger size, it's able to fit just a little bit more in there. And they and they did with this little speaker grill along the side here. Quality on the speakers on the MacBook Pro are fantastic. Um, almost to the point that you wouldn't need a set of headphones even if you're an audiophile. But of course, if you're an audiophile looking for the highest 24-bit fidelity, you're gonna want headphones either way. Speakers on the XPS, very disappointing. Speakers on the uh, MacBook Pro, very, very good. And last but not least, let's talk about input and output. On, 
And by the way, here's a pretty interesting little comparison right here. You can see how, uh, maybe you can't see that. Let's see if I can get a little closer there. You can see how the Dell XPS sort of is dwarfed by the, by the MacBook Pro just ever so slightly. Not, I mean, it's not a whole lot, but it's there. It's noticeable. You can see it. Anyway, in terms of input and output on both machines, let me get that into focus here. MacBook Pro wins. You've got um, two USB-Cs and TRRRRRS, uh, uh, both uh, mic and speaker uh, jack. Um, whereas on the Dell XPS, you only have uh, the speaker and headphone jack and then one USB-C. And then of course, on this side, uh, the Dell XPS comes with a micro camera card reader, whereas the MacBook Pro comes with two USB-Cs versus the Dell XPS's one USB-C. So in input and output, I'm going to give the upper hand to the MacBook Pro. Obviously, it has more options for expandability in terms of its, uh, its USB-C ports. You can pop a hub on there. That said, both can have an external monitor or something like that on it as well. Both can be charged on all USB-C ports. So the Dell's two, um, both left and right charging. Uh, same thing with the MacBook Pro. You can charge the computer on any of the USB-C ports. That is pretty damn awesome. Which computer is better? I still think that the MacBook Pro is the best 13-inch computer that you can buy. Were it my money, I am going to buy the MacBook Pro 13-inch every single time. And it's not a Mac versus PC argument. I do just think it is a better thought-out computer. There is nothing wrong with the Dell XPS 9300 at all. It is a fantastic laptop and one of the best 13-inch options you can buy in the PC world. That said, the MacBook Pro has superior I.O. It's got a better keyboard. It has a better trackpad. It's got better speakers. The screen's arguable depending on what you're uh, optioning at and what you want to get from it. But the, uh, the screen from the MacBook Pro, uh, the base model on the screen is superior than the Dell's full high definition 13.4 inch screen. And even though it's just slightly heavier and slightly bigger, it's not enough to notice in the real world, uh, in, the re in the real world. If you are a student, a Photoshopper, traveler, businessman, somebody constantly in airport, on airplanes, uh, you will find that both laptops are absolutely phenomenal and built to last and, and can take a beating. Both can use Photoshop, both can do some editing, uh, video editing, both can play some games. Admittedly, both have an incredible amount of features. Of course, the Dell XPS has facial recognition, whereas the MacBook Pro does not. Buck for buck, both are great value, but I do think that the MacBook Pro is a slightly better computer. Which one do you like more? Reach out in the comment section and let us know. Please like and subscribe. We hope you enjoyed this comparison video, and we'll be back with another video real soon.